This is just a quick video about how to get into the Bloomberg Market Concepts. I'm assuming you've already created a Bloomberg Terminal login and that you've already logged into the Bloomberg Terminal itself, either remotely, like I am here, or on the physical terminal on the first floor of the uh, Bowler College. Once you're in the terminal, uh, if you look to the upper left, just below that red uh, button, cancel, there's a blue rectangle. Click on that blue rectangle, and I'm going to start typing in BMC. And the first item that comes up once I get all three letters in is the Bloomberg Market Concepts. I'm going to click on that. And that will take me to the overview. First thing I need to do is to sign up for the Bloomberg Market Concepts and you're going to continue as a learner and you're going to type in your name the non Bloomberg email address is your JCU email address and then create a password then the next item down here is very important uh, are you taking BMC as part of a group and the answer is yes so check that box it'll bring up this little window and you will put the class code into that window. This is the class code for spring of 2021. So if you're viewing this video after the spring of 2021, make sure you check your syllabus for the correct class code. Then click OK. And then, of course, read the terms of service and signify that you read and agree to those. And then click on the Sign Up button. Now, in my case, I'm getting a uh, error message up here at the top that the email address already exists in there. Uh, you will get a confirmatory email. Just follow the instructions in that. Once you've followed that, then you can come back down here to step seven, which is logging in. And you, again, you'll put in your JCU email and your password and click log in. I just close out this uh, window that pops up, the Citrix window. Now, here's an interesting uh, feature in here, and I believe this works. I've tested it out, but uh, I don't have it that is bulletproof going to work for you. But uh, it does appear to work for me. So you have two choices down here, free BMC on the web or free BMC in the terminal. Now, even if you're connected remotely, uh, this free BMC in the terminal is going to uh, show you the Bloomberg Market Concept within the framework of the terminal itself. Um, I've found that the free BMC on the web actually opens up a new tab in your browser, and it's a little bit easier to, uh, to watch. The screen is bigger. It's not confined within the context of the terminal window. So I'd recommend trying this out. The other really important feature here, and this, again, I, I, it's worked for me, hopefully it'll work for you, is that I find that once I've opened up the free BMC on the web, I can work in there and I can actually go back into the, uh, the Bloomberg terminal itself and log off of the terminal. That way, opening the terminal up to other students who may need to use it. So this could save us a lot of time in terms of conflicts. So I'm going to click on the free BMC on the web. You'll see what happens. Yes, I want to open in device. That's in my browser. You see the new tab opening up here. And then I can go in and I can begin, say, for instance, the terminal basics. Uh, the first three that I want you to complete are the terminal basics, the equities, and the economic indicators. But I strongly recommend that you begin with the terminal basics. And I've already started that in this particular uh, version of the BMC. And you can see that it loads up the video here. Now, what I can do before I move on is I will go back to my Bloomberg terminal itself, the remote login, and I will type in OFF. That's the log off. It's just OFF. It's not log out, log off, quit. It's OFF. And then I'll hit the enter key. That clears out the Bloomberg terminal, and now I'm still in the Bloomberg Market Concepts on the web for free. 
uh, but I'm not occupying our terminal itself. And let me show you that it's still working here. There we go. So, uh, hopefully this has been helpful and um, that this will work for you as well. Uh, please uh, feel free to reach out via email to me if you have any other questions. If you have any technical difficulties getting in, also reach out to Bloomberg itself. Their support is very good. Thank you.